decided when each unit was going to be shipped home. Mm -hmm. So you were arranging the transportation for them? Uh, no, just uh, writing the basic orders. Okay, okay. for them to go. For them to go. And somebody else would figure out how to get them there. Yeah, how to get them there and, uh, and the order in which they would go. Right. So, uh, so then eventually they decided you could go. Yeah. Did you get to write your own orders uh, to? Well, almost, because uh, <laughs> another good buddy of mine and I learned that they would sell Jeeps, cheap. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I bought a Jeep. Uh, cost about a hundred bucks, I think, something like that. Well, you're still in Paris. Yeah. Well, no. No. As the game began. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. But um, well, to finish that story, yeah. Then I, I purchased my Jeep, and that's the way I transported myself back to, I think, the, to the harbor, no, Bremen, I think it was. We drove, we drove two Jeeps to Bremen, and uh, they were shipped uh, at the same time we were being shipped. Not the same ship, I understand, but uh, a, uh, the I just I never I, I had never heard that before that GIs in Europe were allowed to buy it was, equipment. It was sort of unique. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I kept that deep. Uh, so you actually got it on the ship and got it back to the United States. Mm -hmm. And I kept that deep all through my college years. Mm -hmm. I wish I had it today. <laughs> so for hundred bucks. Well, you only paid a hundred for it, so you got a lot of miles on it in between. Yeah. So uh, when you left uh, Fr uh, France, Germany, in, uh, so this is November again of '44, or is it, where were we into December yet? Um, when we left Germany? Yeah. Well, when you left Paris, you said it was Novemberish. Uh, well, was just before I was discharged. Right. So. You but you weren't discharged in Europe. They put you, you. You bought the jeep. You went into and you shipped it back. You came back to the United States on the That's ship again. That's correct. And do you remember where you landed uh, when you got here in the states? Was it back in New York City or someplace else? I believe it was on Fort Dix. No, oh, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. It's probably here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Fort Operation Center, Fort Dix, New Jersey. That's Fort right. Dix, New Jersey. Okay. So what's the date on that? Does it say when? I August. 46. Oh, so we're in August of 46 now. Mm -hmm. uh, That's when I left the service. When you discharged out in New Jersey. Uh, so where did you go? I mean, okay, you're in New Jersey and it's, um, did you go back to Indiana? Did you I went back to Indiana? That's right. Take the train? Uh, so you drove it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was, well, that was an interesting ride uh, in August of 46 in this World War II Jeep driving across the country. They didn't have interstate highways back then. I think they had the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike. Okay. And we probably, I probably took that. Mm -hmm. Pictures would be way back here somewhere. So, uh, so that must have been interesting to uh, drive the Jeep Cross mm -hmm. country back to Indiana. I got badly sunburned doing it because mm -hmm. cause it was old. Just a little half you know, yeah. And uh, well, yes, that was a, a good experience and uh, it's a good thing to be home. Mm -hmm. And then you went immediately to college? You immediately enrolled in college or did you? Yeah, work I know, I mean, uh, Yes, and for in fact, uh, I went to college in September of the same year. So oh, fall. So, so right away, you went into mm -hmm. college. Which school, what college did you go to? Purdue. Purdue. Mm -hmm. So you were a Boilermaker. Mm -hmm. Yes, all the way. Okay. So, uh, and what did you study in college? Automotive. Uh, I was mechanical, uh, mm -hmm. majoring in automotive. Mm -hmm. Did you, uh, when you had gotten back, did you stay in touch with any of the people that you had served with in Europe, in France? Uh, I mean, did you stay in contact? Did you, uh, you know? The other guy that uh, bought the Jeep, he had a Jeep, I had a Jeep. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
uh, he and I have stayed in contact even to this day. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. He's a dentist in South Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. And uh, we visited uh, once in a while. We didn't see that much of uh, each other, but uh, yeah, we don't have to check with each other once a year or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. So you, st you went to Purdue when you, you graduated, what, four years later then, with a uh, degree in? Uh, 1950. 1950. Mm -hmm. As an automotive engineer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Well, I found myself a job in the automobile. Uh, I worked for Cadillac for 37 years as an engineer. So you moved to Detroit? In, the, in 1950, then you moved here to Detroit. Mm -hmm. 1950. So did you did you have the job, and that's why you moved, or did you move here and then find the job when she got here? Uh, just do you remember? Yeah, I remember. I went to three different companies, like Ford, mm -hmm. General Motors, so the regular way that you go about doing this, and. Mm -hmm. uh, Signed the application almost did they? And that was a slow period right then mm -hmm. in the automobile industry. And uh, I couldn't find a job. Mm -hmm. Like a three or four different ones. And I was on my way back out of Detroit, Michigan Avenue, and there 